Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Banner Boy Games back with another video here. And today I want to do a WGU turn one update. Currently I'm enrolled in WGU software development program. And uh, I basically finished up this term a little bit early. I finished up my term on March 11th. My term wasn't due to end until like uh, late March. I don't remember the exact date, but starting out, I transferred into WGU 26 credits from a traditional brick and mortar school. Uh, this term, I just finished uh, 13 credits. I could have did more, but the first term I was just focused on, you know, trying to fill out the school rather than trying to accelerate right away. Like I said, coming into it, I did transfer 26 credit units. So I at least got, you know, all the English taken care of before enrolling the college algebra, um, a biology class, which was anatomy, um, art, and some other classes. The classes that I took this semester were intro to IT, critical thinking and logic, American politics and US constitution and network and security foundations. My experience so far has been pretty good. One of the reasons that I chose WGU when I was looking at the degree plan, the program really aligned with my goals. Another good reason why I chose it is because there's less filler classes. You know, in the traditional brick and mortar, there are more filler classes that you have to do. So WGU definitely had less filler classes and more applicable classes, you know, to your degree. As far as the experience taking the classes, what it was like taking each one, one thing that I do like is that you do have the option to use your own study resources because sometimes for some of the classes, the study resources are not always the best. Some of the resources in the classes are patched together. So you'll get videos and texts and articles, you know, from different websites and stuff. So the articles and videos come from Google, YouTube and things like that. It was, it was kind of weird, you know, when you got resources kind of passed together, but I think WGU is real good. If you have already have industry experience and you just kind of going just to get the degree, you know, to help you get past the HR firewalls. So it's really good in that aspect. Um, when it comes to the exams, the good thing about the WGU classes and the exams is that unlike a traditional brick and mortar where every exam might be unique to a certain professor the good thing about wgu is thousands of people have already taken that class so it's real easy to do research on a class when you do your research it allows you to find out what resources that you can skip or the best resources to use and what not to waste your time on so it, it, it was a lot easier in that sense of just doing your research on a class and figure out what resources to use, what you need to focus on, what you don't need to focus on, which I think gives you a leg up versus a traditional brick and mortar. My new term, term number two, doesn't start until April 1st. Um, so that's just some of the things that I do like about it, as well as, you know, the flat rate that you pay every six months or a term. Uh, it was like 3,200, 3,300, something like that. So that's just some of my experience. Um, the professors, you know, they're they're great. I haven't had many interactions with professors or course mentors. I had like a few, but I'm kind of one of those people. As long as you give me good resources or I find good resources, you know, you don't have to babysit me. And one of the best things I can tell you to do when you enroll in one of these courses, definitely look for some kind of study guide or review guide because usually a lot of courses have them and if they don't have them easily available, reach out to the course instructor. Um, that's what I did, especially when it came to networking and security foundations. I did reach out to a course mentor, but I also watched a video that was kind of hard to find. I watched a webinar that basically told me what I need to focus on. I would highly suggest using a pacing guide or resource guide that's just my experience. If I think of anything else, I will be doing a part two. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comment section below. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.